hey, Shaw, can we have a little listen to me now, believe me later on moment, and show them what I told them about Salah? The Jets look like I would fire the coach today. If you think there's any chance at saving what it is that you got going on, y'all are all the way in the rut row zone. This is the time for you to make significant changes. That would be my thought if you're still trying to make this go. It's the right time. It's the wrong time. It's a title that's in progress. It's a YouTube exclusive. Check us out here every Tuesday with a little something extra for the folks. Um, shout out to the New York Jets who knew that we like to record this on Tuesday and we're like, hey, how'd you like it if we fired our coach? And they did that. They fired Robert Sala. Hey, hey, don't be mad at me. He still gets his money. Like getting fired ain't the problem. It's not, not getting money anymore. That's what the issue is. But that part is taken care of by a contractual agreement. They made their defensive coordinator, their head coach. I could look up his name, but let's be honest, you don't care and neither do I because the head coach is Aaron Rodgers. Right. Or at the very least, Aaron Rodgers represents for that team what the head coach usually represents, which is in large part why they fired the head coach. Look, Aaron Rodgers is the coach of that team. OK, there are things that happen at points or whatever. But the bottom line is those players clearly have more respect for Aaron Rodgers than they have for Salah. And that's not to say that they don't respect Salah, but it's to say that Aaron Rodgers is such a larger than life figure that if Salah could come in a press conference and say, maybe we need to change the cadence, and Aaron Rodgers could tell you, how about you do your job, and then you come back after and talk about how y'all are great friends. Got to be honest with you. If Aaron Rodgers and Robert Salah are great friends, I am sure that Robert Salah knows that Aaron Rodgers has not been a great friend to him. You know what I'm saying? He has got to be very clear about that very point. And the reason I feel as though he has to be very clear on that very point is Aaron Rodgers out here playing like rad ass. You've seen him play like rad ass. I've seen him play like rad ass. And what makes it worse is that Dominique makes this point that when Peyton Manning showed up with the Broncos, it was all about them meeting up at some high school or in a pasture or something like that. And them boys is out there running routes in excess of what the CBA would typically allow. Tom Brady did the same thing. Remember, they uh, he was he went to Tampa during the COVID year. Them boys was out there back when we ain't know what them cooties might do to you, but they was out there working in working out. Aaron Rodgers out there doing hiding out in the dark. You remember that time Aaron Rodgers was hiding out in the dark? He out there hiding out in the dark. Like, those things weren't done. All that showing up to minicamp or whatever, Aaron Rodgers decided those are things that he did not want to do. And it's not like Tom Brady. Well, I guess Tom Brady did have that year that he had to leave because he had to get on some baby please. You remember that? Tom Brady had to go down to the Bahamas because he was trying to, uh, he was trying to uh, keep, his ha- keep, keep his house a home. You remember that? I had forgotten about that until this very moment. Anyway... Aaron Rodgers could have taken some additional steps that he did not take. He did make them hire his homeboy to be their offensive coordinator. And a point that I've seen made many times that is a pretty good one. Garrett Wilson looked like a better quarterback playing with Zach Wilson than he does with Aaron Rodgers. And if that is not a staggering indictment of Aaron Rodgers, I don't know what is. But see, this, this, this is the thing for our guy Sala. And I need everybody to understand this, Okay. I'm not the sort of dude that lied to you. I've been telling you this for a long time. It just don't happen as much as it used to. I've been fired many, many times. I've been fired in different ways. I've been fired by different types of people. I've been fired in times where you could probably say that I deserved it. I've been tired by some hating ass motherfuckers. I've been fired in just like, I, I've seen it go in different ways. Okay. People have to stop looking at something like Sala getting fired and say how it is that he didn't deserve it and say how it is that it isn't his fault. It Whatever the it is, is rarely one person's fault. Hell, even in the best of times, somebody's out here moving in different positions, getting switched around to anything else. Hey, man, team win the Super Bowl. They don't bring everybody back. Somebody gets moved around. This is just the nature of the business or whatever. And the circumstances said, not right now for Robert Sala. And it said, not right now for Robert Sala, because all the things that they could fix, they can't fix. Quarterback is not playing well enough. Well, you're all in on the quarterback. The offense coordinator is not calling the dopest plays. The offense coordinator is there because of the quarterback. They are a tandem pair. So what else is it that you're supposed to do? Because everybody understands this now. If, and it's a big if, if the Jets are going to do anything with Aaron Rodgers, they're going to do it this year. 
Can you imagine his old ass hobbling around out there next year, given the way he looks this year? Because we know one thing he ain't about to do is spend his old offseason working hard. Not on this. Like, I'm sure he's working hard. That stuff he that stuff he likes to talk about and think about, that shit sound like hard work to me. Like, those, those are not easy things to consider, right? So I guess if we, we could put, like, some of the things on his head. I bet his brain be grr, grr, grr. Like, his, his brain be in there, eye of the tiger, thrill of the fight. All them reaches and stretches he be doing. Man, I'm just trying to say I don't think Aaron Rodgers is lazy. I just don't think he feel like doing this football stuff that is required. I just don't think he's in it for that. He's not. So this is the year that they got to get it done. If there is any time at all that they're going to get it done. In fact, now that I think about it, I have forgot about this part too. Remember when Aaron Rodgers was out here trying to trick people into thinking he could come back last year? You remember that? He ain't he ain't ready now. He had people out here thinking he could come back from an Achilles tear in like three months. He out here looking like he's still hurt. Any you morons who believe that back in the day, I just wanted to point out how stupid it was then. Yeah, people really going for it just by being weird and enigmatic, right? That ain't going to cut it at this point, though. That's not it. And so where I look at Aaron Rodgers, and I wonder where this goes from here. Hey, man, these other dudes on your team, the jig's got to be up, right? You're not getting it done. I guarantee you that the jig has been up with Garrett Wilson. Gary Wilson out here trying to get his paper, right? Like, this is that year where he go out here and ball, he could get his paper next offseason. No, 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 it's not looking like that now. I tell you who the jig been up with for a long time, I bet you. I know how this works in my own life, and maybe I can't say it for nobody else, but anytime I've been in a situation like this at work where a whole lot is like somebody else ain't pulling their weight, but the weight's going to probably fall on you, Nobody notices that faster than that woman you sleeping with. I imagine Mrs. Sala has been out on Aaron Rodgers for a very, very, very long time. That those like the people who love you like that, they're the ones that can look around and be like, oh man, this is you got to keep an eye on him. He, he he's gonna do you in. And Aaron Rodgers got that man fired. Got that man fired. No other way to look at it. Now they made that defense go. I'll look up his name at some point. But that defensive coordinator gets to be the guy. And Aaron Rodgers, man, it's like people are asking if uh, Nate Hackett was going to become the head coach. Hell no, they'd have been walking him out the building too if he didn't come in there with Aaron Rodgers. Like you think about this. The offense is why they are bad. Normally when you see something like this happen, they walk out the coach and they walk out the coordinator that is not pulling his weight. That dude is still in the building because he's there with Aaron Rodgers. So you, Aaron Rodgers, it's all on you, buddy. Every single bit of this at this point is on you. And what we about to find out is something that I raised the question of when he first got this uh, gig and came to New York. Are you built for what New York can do? Because in a way, New York just swallowed up Sala, right? Like you could make the argument that it's media attention, all of these things that are probably part of what got us here. Okay, there's something there. But now it's all on Aaron Rodgers and what nobody likes. Nobody likes a coach killer. Nobody likes a coach killer. People still look at coaches like they're regular people, even though they're zillionaires, right? Like they look at you like you're the one that shut down the factory when you're the coach killer, right? They're like, what are these poor kids going to do? Like they're about to be out there getting spoonfuls of gruel, uh, spoonfuls of gruel. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're going to be out here li- living like Oliver Twist. I think that's the one book. I ain't never read it, but you know what I'm talking about. Like, that. that's how people still look at that when you get the coach fired. You got the coach fired. You better get this going. Because let me tell you something about Fireman Ed. I know this seems counterintuitive, but I can only imagine how disappointed Fireman Ed is where the height of his expectation was. And, like, that breaking your heart can turn you into somebody you didn't even know that you was capable of being, right? You know, like like when you really feel that pain, it can bring things out of you. It can make you somebody that you don't even recognize at times. What I'm trying to say to you, Aaron Rodgers, is if you don't start playing better, there's a teeny, 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 tiny chance that Fireman Ed is going to burn your house down. Just saying. Everything that man been through, over the years, all of this, and now you done broke his heart, you're going to make him the opposite 
of what he is. New York is coming, dog. New York is on the way for you. You might want to step it up. The NFL is back, which means you can turn $10 into $1,000 in a single game watching your favorite teams only on prize picks. You can make a prize picks lineup in as little as 60 seconds. Sign up today and get $50 instantly when you play five. You don't even need to receive the $50 bonus. It's guaranteed. Quick withdrawals, easy gameplay, and an enormous selection of players and stat types are what make prize picks the number one fantasy sports app. So make sure you go to prizepicks.com slash Bomani and use code Bomani for a first deposit match up to $100. That's prizepicks.com slash Bomani. Prize picks, daily fantasy sports made easy. 